Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have the Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle Set 75104. Here's the box set graphic with the Command Shuttle blasting through. The set consists of 1,004 pieces and cost £99.99p in the UK, $119.99 in the US and €129.99 in Europe. It's the second largest set and the only set with the Kylo Ren minifigure. So let's open the box and build the set. The Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle set took us 1 hour and 35 minutes to build and was a complex and technical build with all the shuttle's moving parts which we will show later. You get 6 minifigures and Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Now let's see all 6 minifigures up close. You get two First Order Crew minifigures. They both have black legs and black printed torsos front and back. They both have a single printed faced head and it's great that you get two different heads for each crew minifigure. They both have the new black First Order Crew helmets which are a combination of a Death Star gunner helmet and upturned visor which is a cool new helmet. And they are both equipped with a small black blaster each which is nice to see. The First Order Stormtrooper Officer has printed white legs and white printed torso back and front which looks good. It has the Clone Trooper printed face and comes with the really cool new First Order Stormtrooper helmet which we think looks great with all its printing. The Stormtrooper Officer also has a pauldron or shoulder cape which is red with a black outline. This is worn to show it's the First Order Stormtrooper Officer and not a regular trooper. It is also equipped with a medium black blaster and we think the First Order Stormtrooper Officer has a great overall look but when you take away the pauldron it's exactly the same as a regular First Order Stormtrooper minifigure seen in the First Order Transporter set so maybe a different head or armour printing could have made it more unique. The General Hux minifigure has printed black legs and printed black torso front and back which creates a printed trench coat with the legs and front torso which is cool. General Hux has a single printed face head with ginger hair printed on. The General Hux minifigure also has a black officer cap with first order insignia. The General Hux minifigure does lack a weapon but looks good and is exclusive to this set. The First Order Officer minifigure has dark bluish grey legs and dark bluish grey officer torso printed front and back with belt and pockets. This officer is a female with a single printed faced head. The officer also has a dark bluish grey officer cap with First Order insignia and black cap printing on the front. The officer isn't equipped with a blaster but does come with some white binoculars. We feel dark bluish grey or black would have looked better but overall it's a solid minifigure. The Kylo Ren minifigure is the one we've all been waiting for and is only available in this set in the first wave of the Force Awakens Lego sets. The minifigure has black printed legs with robe printing and a black printed torso front and back with a printed on belt. The Kylo Ren minifigure also has a black headpiece with printed on Kylo Ren mask that looks pretty cool. Kylo Ren also comes with a black hood that goes well with the printed mask headpiece and the minifigure has a small shredded cape. He also has an alternative headpiece, this black helmet which from the back looks like Darth Vader's helmet and from the front looks like his printed head mask. It's got good printing but seems bulky and we prefer the hood and printed head. And finally Kylo Ren is equipped with his own handcrafted unique three bladed lightsaber with two separate blades protecting the hand. The hilt is a brand new gunmetal colour piece which is excellent but the trans red lightsaber is one whole piece instead of three separate pieces and it just clips into the hilt. Maybe some printing on the bar could have disguised its one piece 
or a new lightsaber hilt with a hole for a second bar could have been better, but it still works and looks great. Overall, we feel the minifigure was designed well, and maybe a better lightsaber construction could make it slightly better, but it will definitely be highly collectible and sought after by LEGO Star Wars fans. The Kylo Ren Command Shuttle has an overall dark grey and grey colour scheme and was a complex build due to the folding out wings that have a clip mechanism. Before we got the set we said its design looked crude and now looking at it, it does have a high brick construction with pieces that stick out too much. But LEGO only had sketches to go on to design it and the second The Force Awakens trailer only shows it from the rear in the distance so you can see why they struggled with its overall design. The two wings have lots of plates, trans red lights and bricks for detail and have an extending and retracting mechanism, which we like. This is great if you want to fold the wings down for landing or extend them for takeoff. At the back of each wing is the Technic mechanism, which when rotated will fold up the wing and you can clip this Technic mechanism in to lock the wings in place so they don't fall down or move about when you're playing with it. The play feature has a good sturdy mechanism that can be turned as quickly or slowly as you want the wings to extend or retract. Underneath the shuttle are two hinged fold out smaller wings that are folded up when landed and can be extended in flight to increase the wings overall length. Sadly, the wings don't fold out at an angle which can be seen on the shuttle in the Force Awakens trailer, but we still like the extending and retracting wings. Each wing has two large light grey blaster guns for firepower, and hidden in the wings near the bottom is a trans green flick missile to represent the firing laser for these two guns. The flick missile is activated by pushing a finger into the square hole at the bottom of each wing. This play feature is a fun added extra. At the back of the shuttle are the twin engines constructed from two grey wheel pieces and two round trans red detailed thruster pieces. The engines look good with extra grill and plate pieces around the sides. The front of the shuttle has a black brick cockpit construction with three 2x1 trans clear bricks for the cockpit windows. We personally would have liked the cockpit to have a window piece instead of bricks. The top of the shuttle has some good detail with round plates, slope pieces, tiles and stud bricks adding to its look. The shuttle top is hinged and opens up revealing the shuttle interior and this gives you easy access to put minifigures inside. The shuttle interior has printed tiles either side, a printed control panel and joystick at the cockpit front. One good thing about the set was it had no stickers, only printed tiles which is great. You can place a first order crew minifigure in the driving seat of the shuttle. They slide in instead of clipping in. There's some clips on the side to clip on spare missile ammunition. There's a cargo compartment on the shuttle with its own hinged roof piece that opens up so you can put minifigures in and clip weapons onto the roof rack. We felt this was an odd feature on a command shuttle because it's not a cargo ship. The minifigures can exit and enter the shuttle by using the access ramp. You can push it down, but if you pull this Technic piece back underneath, it opens more easily because if you pushed it from the top, it sometimes gets stuck. We felt a better mechanism was needed, maybe like the one used in the first order transporters ramp that is activated by pulling a Technic rod from the back. Kylo Ren's command shuttle has some nice play features but its wings don't move like the trailer shuttle and we feel its design was rushed and a bit crude. It doesn't feel as fun as other The Force Awakens set vehicles and ships. The Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle set 
is an expensive set, you do get the exclusive sought after Kylo Ren minifigure, but the shuttle and other crew minifigures wouldn't be missed. It has two flick missiles and the extending and retracting wings, which are fun to mess about with. But it feels a bit empty, it's sadly a ship for bussing Kylo Ren around. The Kylo Ren minifigure though is excellent and has an extra helmet which is a bit oversized and the lightsaber could be better but it's minor details. The officers and crew members have good printing and would add to a first order army but some different printing for the first order stormtrooper officer would have been nice. It was a complex build and you could get fed up of the shuttle before it's made and its overall design lacks the wow factor. We felt if this set was made again by Lego after the movie's release the shuttle would have a completely different look and could even be more black than grey. Plus its wings would fold down. Brick Bros UK has given the set a brick rating of three and a half bricks out of five. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK unboxing and review of the Force Awakens Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle set. Remember to check out our channel for more LEGO The Force Awakens set reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.